here in the Carolinas, we're no stranger to quick changes in our weather. But have you ever wondered why and how things can change so quickly or why our weather always seems to be up and down? It's all around us, but we can't see it. Pressure. But how does pressure impact our weather? Let's raise that weather IQ. Okay, so first off, what is air pressure? Well, it's literally the weight of the force of the atmosphere on us here on Earth, or how heavy the air is above us. So as you get closer to the Earth, the pressure increases. Think about it this way. The closer to the ground you are, the more air there is to push down on us here at the surface. Our weather is driven by several areas of high and low pressure all across the globe based on how the Earth is heated and cooled and the conditions here on the ground. So a few simple rules here. Low pressure is created as air at the surface rises. The opposite is true for high pressure. Sinking air creates areas of high pressure. So combined together, our air will naturally flow from high pressure to low pressure, which is how our wind is created. So for our weather, low pressure and rising air creates clouds and storms. Think about the water cycle, right? As air rises, it cools and condenses and eventually forms precipitation. On the flip side, with high pressure, that sinking air suppresses cloud cover and storm development. Now, it's not always the case, but if we have stormy weather, there's a good bet on low pressure systems being close to us, while on beautiful sunny days, high pressure is at the wheel. With your weather IQ, I'm meteorologist Christian Morgan.